Hi, my name is Hussein. I'm a senior transport modeler at PTV Group. Today, I'm going to show you how to use PTV Visum together with Publisher. Publisher is a web-based visualization tool that sits on the cloud that helps you visualizing your Visum data. I will start with a Visum model. And here I have a private and public transport network ready to be visualized in Publisher. I'll do that by going to File, Export, Visum Publisher, and a new window will open asking me to select the network objects I'm interested in. The default selection contains links, zones, stops, together with the count of these elements. I can also add trajectories, and there are different types of trajectories which I can choose from. For instance, there is the timetable visualization, DRT, which relate to demand responsive transit, where I can visualize tours and trips, ABM, activity-based model, visualization of trips and ex activity executions, SBA, simulation-based assignment, visualization of vehicles and signal heads. In this example, I am interested in visualizing timetable data. I can select between an entire analysis period or choose from a range. I can confirm with OK, and the vehicle trajectories is added to my data sources. Once I am happy with my selection, I can click on Next to select a scenario where this data will be uploaded. I have a prepared, pre prepared scenarios, but I can even add a new scenario. I can give it a name. And within that model, I can define different scenarios. For instance, this would be my AM model. And then I can export the data. Once I click on export, Visum will start exporting the data in the cloud. And I can check that here in the data transfer tool, which is uploading the data to the cloud. Next, I can sign in to my publisher account, where I can see all the data that I have uploaded previously in the publisher account. I can have a look at the data. So links has been exported. I have all the IDs or the attributes that has been selected during the export. The next step is creating a dashboard. So I can switch back to my dashboard tab and add a new dashboard. A new window will open where I can add my data, which is ready for visualization. For instance, I can start with the zone layer, add to dashboard, adjust my window accordingly, and I can see my zone layer. I can zoom in to a specific location, and I can change my angle. The next step is to choose the coloring. So I can click here to choose on which attribute I want my colors to be based on. I can say origin traffic and select the mode of transport. Then I can also scale my zones based on a specific attribute. And here I can change it to be the same as before, origin traffic, demand segment, public transport, and I can increase the height of my attribute. I can put my mouse cursor or any of these zones and get the exact value of the origin traffic. But also if I click on any of these zones, I get more information about the other demand segments and also some other attributes. I can add more 
data to this dashboard by adjusting the window here and I can go back again and add more data. Now I will add my public transport vehicle trajectories to the dashboard, which is quite easily and it will come here immediately and I will adjust my window. What I can do here, I can increase the animation speed for the public transport animation. I can also adjust my time frame and look at the PT animation data. If I am happy with my dashboard, I can close this window, rearrange as needed, and have the dashboard ready. I can zoom in, zoom out also in the animation window and adjust my angle accordingly. Here I can see the different transport systems for public transports being defined, the volume and the demand at the stop level. I can share my dashboard by going to the share dashboard icon where I have two options. First option is visible to team viewers, which I can um, give access to the team members who are within this dashboard or I can share it publicly with an active link. I can also change my background here to different colors if needed, and I can add some text if needed. So I can adjust my dashboard in this way, and I can add, for example, a text here which explain or give more details about what this dashboard is explaining. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our PTV Mobility channel. If you have any questions, please add them to the comment section below. I would like also to ask you to join our global community on LinkedIn by joining the PTV Visum forum in the link below. Thank you and see you in the next episode.